Uh, good morning, uh, Steve here in Sydney of the Lay Gnosis website, truebluehealer.com. Got a couple more things to tell you about Lawrence Krauss, the uh, uber skeptic claimed astrophysicist who behaves like Bart Simpson debating uh, William Lane Craig in the Melbourne debate uh, recently. And I've got a couple more things to tell you. Um, namely, I've looked at the Sydney debate and people have supplied information to me of what can I say? Um, sort of confirmatory status. Okay, someone's given me some information confirming that one's intuitional impression one gets of Lawrence Krauss. Now, in the Melbourne debate, uh, you'd be excused for asking, where's the astrophysicist in this stage debate in Melbourne? Because there was no evidence of astrophysics really in the brain of. Um, Lawrence Krauss, the great professor, much vaunted um, leading world astrophysicist, scientific hero of hero figure in Wikipedia. Um, now, so I watched uh, the Sydney uh, debate, and he was he interrupted William Lane Craig some seventy times, and it, it does seem like he was, in a sense, in a way, desperately channeling Bart Simpson, if I may put it that way. Um, the great intellect and great reasoning capacity you'd expect of an astrophysicist cosmologist is absent. It's just absent from these debates. So you've got to ask the question, what are they really talking about? And one thing that comes up in all of these, uh, in all of these debates is that Krauss always brings up, it's always him, the concept of homosexual sheep. And you've got to ask the question, why doesn't he bring up homosexual boa constrictors, homos homosexual crocodiles, or homosexual zebras, or homosexual lions, you see? Why doesn't he do that? How come it's always sheep? And the answer is that sheep are a religious metaphor used throughout the Bible. I do believe Jesus referred to himself as a shepherd. I'm not a religious person. I don't read the Bible much. But uh, throughout the Bible are numerous, numerous um, sheep analogies referring to people as sheep. And the continual appeals by Lawrence Krauss while talking about astrophysics to keep making applications to Christianity. Could he rejoin Christianity? Could he be allowed back into the fold if he keeps pointing out that even in Jesus' days there must have been homosexual sheep? That seems to be what Lawrence Krauss is trying to point out as one of the themes of his debates with William Lane Craig. So it seems that Lawrence Krauss, professor, the astrophysicist, you forget all the astrophysics and you just, the main, th one of these big themes seems to be readmission back into the, the fold of Christianity with a couple of lines of the Old Testament deleted and he seems to be making a sort of uh, under the table application there to uh, William Lane Craig who can only um, sort of um, manage a kind of embarrassed giggle. What a subject to ask. On a, in, on a public stage, for goodness sake. But, the tendency to want to belong in a group, a congregation, that's all congregation really means. To be part of a congregation and be part of a group going somewhere with ritualistic behaviours, practices, um, is actually a very powerful biological urge installed in us by the blind watchmaker of evolution who may not be so blind after all because ritualistic behaviors do extend your lifespan religious behaviors ritualistic behaviors do uh, extend your survivability so the blind watchmaker of evolution has clearly stumbled upon some wisdom there purely by accident of course and um, installed um, physical brain hardware genetic makeup uh, physical brain software in all of us to engage in ritualistic behaviours, many of which strongly resemble religious behaviours. And I'll just run through a couple of them for you. I'll just remind you that we have names of the week all named after gods, revered deities. It's no accident. The word holiday actually means holy day. And your annual holidays are based on religious pilgrimages that began in the Middle Ages once a year a week or a month doing something completely different to your normal daily activities. Being an annual event, it's a ritualistic thing. All part of your 24-hour 
seven day weekly monthly annual cycles so it's pretty hard to divorce uh, cyclic behaviors from religious tendencies they seem to be mixed together for our own physical and mental benefits now what's wrong with that Richard Dawkins, uh, when he's asked on a BBC documentary called God on the Rain, he agrees there's never been an atheistic uh, society in the history of mankind. Richard Dawkins agrees with that proposition. Um, he still says he hates religion in that documentary, but nevertheless it's installed in us by the blind watchmaker of evolution, um, apparently to extend our lifespans and enjoyment of life, probably. Um, how bad is that? something cares about you. How bad is that? It's really quite impossible to escape your biological tendencies toward ritualistic behaviors uh, with a, the moon and the 24-hour cycle, sleeping in the dark, that sort of thing, uh, breaking your fast, breakfast in the morning uh, is a ritualistic behavior. You'll notice your mental activity um, is attuned. You're more mentally active, more intelligent, able to make more connections uh, when your stomach's empty and uh, you're running on ketones. Okay, so um, this has been discovered in dementia research. So um, it's very hard to get away from ritualistic behavior. Fasting has religious implications. It's been, been practiced by many, many people since time began. So you have breakfast, you're practicing a fasting uh, ritual okay it's a short one but it works Muslims do it Christians do it 40 days in the desert that sort of thing right so it's very hard to get away from ritualistic religious behaviors installed in us biologically by the blind watchmaker of evolution apparently atheistic people I'm talking about the not the quiet ones uh, they're okay they're just on a place going somewhere else it's just a stepping stone, a position they're at. Um, militant atheists who go head-kicking Christians all over the internet and, and uh, ESP, psy people, telepathy people, um, they are really just very quarrelsome people with an axe to grind. Um, uh, typical contrarians, uh, they just like... Um, they're in a state of rage for one reason or another and they want to beat up other people um, to sort of exercise their rage but it doesn't seem to work the process if it works at all is very very slow and inefficient head kicking Christians is not a good self-help therapy for anyone doing it and I'm talking to you directly now militant atheists now some atheists have realized their powerful biological urges and Here's some evidence for you on, on, the, on the internet for you. I've, I'm posting this up for you. It'll be on screen now. Headline announcement in the UK that an atheist church is being set up with affiliations around the English-speaking world, namely America, UK and Australia. Um, they're going to have seemingly some kind of collection plate, Sunday rituals, um, likely tax-free status. Uh, we all like that, don't we? <laughs> um, so some atheists at least have realized their powerful, powerful biological urges are not to be obfuscated against and filibusted against, but you just make up your own religion to act out your biological, religious, ritualistic behaviors. And it's okay. It's okay to do that. So... I would put it to the atheists that they are really arguing down the wrong track completely, trying to argue their way out, trying to belligerate their way out of the matrix of cycles that produce them. They are a product of the 26,000 year precessional cycle, the 365 day cycle, um, the 12, 13 monthly cycle we have. Um, do you really want to argue your way out of that? Is that why you're into transhumanism and want to be to live in a machine or something devoid of everything else? I put it to you, it's much easier to realize that you're a biological creature that runs on ritualistic behaviors and it's okay not to do them for a while and be an atheist. It's all part of your natural life cycle. <laughs> it's kind of like a holiday 
holy day from normal normal religious practices okay <laughs>